UFC star McGregor insists Chelsea, Man United interest not in jest. UFC legend Conor McGregor has confirmed that his interest in buying a football club is not in jest, with Chelsea, Manchester United and Celtic all on his radar. After Roman Abramovich announced he was selling Chelsea earlier this week, McGregor moved quickly to position himself as a potential buyer, tweeting I wish to explore this to his 9.1 meters followers. His plans were met with a wave of skepticism, as people highlighted his £135 million net worth and Abramovich's £3 billion asking price. This has not deterred McGregor, with the Irishman reiterating his desire to get into the football industry on Sunday. I do not speak in jest. I am exploring this, as I said, he tweeted. Celtic from Dermot Desmond, Manchester United from the Glaziers, and now the recently up for sale Chelsea Football Club. All being explored. A football franchise purchase is in my future make no mistake about it. He added, every day I ball. How wouldn't I lead a team of young, dedicated athletes to glory? I'm perfect for the job. Pray it's your team. In other news at Chelsea, Thomas Tuchel has condemned the chanting of Abramovich's name during the minutes applause for Ukraine in yesterday's match against Burnley. The Russian oligarch is revered in West London, having injected £1.5 billion into the club since his takeover in 2003. However, he is also a close ally of Vladimir Putin, and it is because of this relationship that he has been forced to sell the club. It's not the moment to do this, Tuchel said of the chance. If we show solidarity, we should show solidarity together. He continued, we also do this because of what we are as a club. We show respect and we need our fans to commit to this minute of applause in the moment. We do it for the people of Ukraine and there is no second opinion about the situation. They have our thoughts and our support, and we should stand together as a club. Goals from Rhys James, Kai Havertz and Christian Pulisic secured a 4-0 win for Chelsea at Turf Moor.